All right. This is super, super, this is super important. Oh, okay. You guys have to remember that Exodus was written 2,000 years before Jesus. Okay. All right. Way before Jesus. First of all, I'm going to point out the archaeological evidence. I'm putting a very important link below that explains all this better. Okay. First of all, I don't know where the Ark of the Covenant is now. I have no idea. There's all kinds of conspiracy theories. Okay. But you can see the Ark of the Covenant was real. Even in Egyptian writings, it was there. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the, um, so this archaeologist was looking for the Ark of the Covenant and uh, he found evidence of it. Okay. Under where Jesus was crucified. That's crazy because this was 2,000 years later. Okay. Because you, what's in the Ark of the Covenant? The Ark of the Covenant has the Ten Commandments, right? And they also have, like, these stones, okay? And I don't know. I don't get the stones. I know that in Revelations, it talks about. It also talks about weird stones. And it's definitely connected. Okay. And, uh... So, anyway... So, this archaeologist found, like, this 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 cave where this Ark was, cut, was buried, okay? Uh, so, what happened was... Um... Like this group, this, these Levites, this group, uh, the this group of um, people who believed in God. Okay, they had a temple that had like, uh, sorry, they had a temple that had the ark in it. And when they were getting invaded by Egyptians and the Philistines or whatever, okay, they tried to hide it real fast. Okay, and uh, all these wars happened and it got buried. Okay. Like, okay, and it just so happened to be, and like 2,000 years later, they, they just kept building the city on top of each other. Like, you know how they do in Seattle? They just kept bu building a city on top of the cities, right? They didn't really de they didn't really clean it up. They kind of just leveled it off, and they kept building cities on top of it. Jerusalem, okay? Israel, Jerusalem. Uh, so, um, so it just so happened that Jesus got sacrificed on top of the Ark of the Covenant was accidentally buried. Yeah, right, guys. God knew. This is not, this is not science fiction, guys. This is real. This really happened. Okay? Look at the documentary below. He still has Jesus' blood and all that stuff, you guys. It's crazy. Alright. And I'm going to talk to you about blood in a minute. It's This is creepy stuff and, and amazing stuff, but this... This happened, okay? Like literally, the blood of him, the blood of the Lamb, went onto the Ark of the Covenant, okay? The the blood of Jesus sprinkled on the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant for the forgiveness of man's sins. This is a love beyond all other loves for you. Jesus was your s sacrificial Lamb, okay? Leviticus 16 explains, okay? So, um. I don't know where this ark is now. That's a big mystery, right? Like Indiana Jones says it's like in a storage facility somewhere. Some people say that like these Satanists have it. Some people say these uh, this group of uh, Christians have it. I don't know where it is, but this happened, guys. Like literally, like I'm gonna talk to you about blood. Um, this is uh, I blood is very like uh, powerful. Okay, blood. Especially if it's innocent blood, that's why we have. To, that's why we used to have to do animal sacrifices. Okay, that's why, um, like people who worship, like knowingly worship the devil. You're worshiping the devil if you watch Netflix all day. It's the same thing. But if you're knowingly worshiping the devil and you're trying to do like black magic, like really bad black magic, um, they use blood of infants. Okay, they try to get innocent blood, and it has to be tortured too. That's why Jesus had to be tortured and killed and spill his blood. Because that's just how it works, okay? But you don't, obviously we don't have to do that anymore if you believe in Jesus. If you just believe in Jesus, you don't have to worry about blood and all that stuff. My point is, this stuff is real, okay? This stuff is real. Um, uh, like in the, uh, the Bible continually talks about how the life of the the life of the flesh is in the blood, okay? And the blood, of, and it constantly talks about how the blood is for atonement of sins, okay? Um, in hell, okay, in hell there's no blood, okay? You can't atone for your sins anymore. Um, and that's, a, I'm, I'm, that's a different story, okay? Uh, th that's real though, okay? There's no, there's, the stuff is real, okay? Um, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really want to talk about the, the hell thing right now because it's very traumatizing to even think about it. Um, it's very hard for me to talk about, but, um, there's no blood in hell, guys. Like, but just because there's no blood, don't think that there's no physical pain, because there is, okay? Um, 
absolute physical pain. Uh, so, um, this, and if you read, um, when Cain killed Abel, and God says, I could hear his blood crying out to me. Like, the, you guys, blood is very, very powerful, especially if it's innocent blood, okay? That's why, um, that's why, like, in Black Magic, they need a lot of blood. They still do anim animal sacrifices, because animals are innocent, right? And uh, Jesus was the most innocent, right? So, but he, he, that's when he died, and he said, it is finished. It is finished. <sighs> okay, so... This is serious, guys. Please get on the, this Jesus guy. He's awesome. He's the only one that can save you. This is real. And the devil, you know, the devil in our society just tries to bury this information up. And they don't want you knowing this stuff. Because he wants you to keep stay his. He wants you to stay in Egypt, right? Please, please read the Bible and believe in it. Please, okay, guys? Please, thank you. So this is going to be the end of uh, Exodus, I think. Um, I might post some videos later on continuing the Bible, okay? I just want you guys to get into the Bible, okay? This is stuff is serious and it's real, okay?